Hey there again. So today we are doing, as you can see, this little tier maker here. Uh, I just have a few things to say before we get into it. Number one, this is my own opinion. This is not anyone else's opinion. This is not fact. This is just according to me, which one of these big boys is the best. We have all the starter Pokemon in somewhat of a random order. We have like the Gen 8s, but then we also have just random, a random mixture of them. I think they're all here. 3, 6, 9, 12. <laughs> yep, they are. I, I believe they are. Uh, we will we will do them in gen order just to make sure. But um, before we get started, I, I said I had two things to make clear. The second thing is, uh, is that Chikorita is the worst starter. Don't fight me on it. Everyone agrees. Okay, if it's your favorite starter, grow up. Okay, all right, <laughs> let's get into it. All right, starting off with the Gen 1s, I suppose we'll just go with Charmander first. So we're, we're basing it solely on the starter Pokemon alone, not what they evolve into. So Charizard's not going to save this boy. I think as a design, I, I suppose I can move them around, but he's pretty, he's pretty mid. We'll put him in, we'll put him in the low A category. Just, you know, he's, he's like a lizard. He, he, he is, he is cool. And uh, next up, we will pick Bulby. Now, a lot of people think I don't like Bulbasaur, and that would be right. Bulbasaur looks terrible. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I would actually say that Bulbasaur looks better than Charmander, just for originality. Like, this is just a lizard with a bit of fire on it. Oh, do I do that? It's so brave, so bold. And then Turtle, Squirtle, I think, is just a turtle. So, you know, I think I'm happy with that order. Uh, we are going to try and make it so that we don't have two of the same gen on the same line. So we can't have all in S, all in Ch I mean, nothing's joining Chikorita down in hell. That's where it belongs. Little leafy pear body prick. Moving on to gen two. <laughs> all right, um, gen two. I suppose Totodile is the first one we'll look at. I actually quite like Totodile. I would say that he is maybe one of the better ones from gen two. I'm gonna put him in A. Obviously we have Terrible Chikorita. Cyndaquil, where are you? Uh, okay, I'm a fan of Cyndaquil, but I don't like what they did to him in Pokemon Go. So this kind of Cyndaquil, I think deserves at least a B. But uh, but Pokemon Go Cyndaquil, I'll put, a, I'll put a picture of it up on up on here right now. It deserves nothing. <laughs> it is terrible. So um, I, I suppose we're deciding between both of them. I think it's a pretty Squirtle level. Oh, I'm going to get so much hate. None of them have made it into the S tier. Oh, part of me kind of wants to separate them out a little bit. All right, Squirtle's pretty, pretty low tier, right? I don't like Squirtle that much. Uh, what's Gen 3? Oh, Torchic. Terrible. It's only got, it's got one leg. He does have two, but he doesn't use both of them. Terrible, terrible Pokemon. Uh, I actually think that I'm being a little bit harsh because I've just had a look down and seen some of the Gen 6s and I'm like, ah, oh, we, we have a lot more of the bottom table to fill out. And we're not going to hit this S tier until we get further down the line, I'm telling you. Mudkip. Hmm, I do like Torchic better than Mudkip and nothing can join Chikorita at the bottom. So I think Torchic's probably going to have to go into C, which is, I was going to say fitting, but he doesn't start with C. You would have been fitting in C, but I'm not putting you anywhere near the next category. Oh, slime ball. Uh, I also think that, you know, it goes, if you were to look at this list in order, it would be like Bulbasaur, Charmander, then Totodile, then Cyndaquil, then Squirtle, then Torchic. So like if I did this, it would be Torchic, then Squirtle. So that's like the highest of C. That's like both the highest and lowest of B at the minute. What, what gen were we on? Gen 3. What are we looking for? Why can't I... Oh, Trico. Trico is a... An absolute G. I think I think that that rounds it out quite nicely. I do like how he looks, but I have never used him in a playthrough. I always pick Torchic because I like Blaziken, especially in Oras when we get Mega Blaziken, because the other two are kind of terrible. No offense to the Mudkip fans. I have never played with Mudkip, nor do I want to look at the state of it. Moving on, Generation Four, the first S tier Pokemon. Chimchar, my little fire monkey. You can't, you can't, 
The second game I ever played was Platinum. Okay? The second game, after Pokemon White, which may lead you to believe that one of these Gen 5s is going in Tier X. Fight me. Chimchar is an absolute god tier. Um, I would say that all of the Gen 4s deserve to be in the top two categories at least, but we can't have them sharing. So it's going to be A plus for Piplup. And where are you, Turtwig? And then A for Turtwig. Gen 4, culmination of the great designs. All of them, 10 out of 10. Absolutely love them. Moving on. What is the next gen? Generation 5. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do these other ones first. Alright, um Oshawa. I hate Oshawa. Probably not as much as Mudkip. Ah, oh, do do I hate him more than I think I think he has to go there because I I like him more Nah I can't Nah okay, yeah. I'm I'm, I'm happy with that. I liked him in the anime, he was okay. Couldn't open his eyes, a little bit of a prick. Snivy, on the other hand. Snivy. I do prefer Snivy over... Am, am I saying that right? Snivy, Snivy. I do prefer Snivy to both of them. Not over Turtwig. Turtwig, I think, deserves to be in the highest form of there. And I would argue even that Totodile is in the middle. Um, Pipbluff is definitely above Bulbasaur. Just rehashing this. Yeah, Squirtle is above him. Mudkip. Okay. And with that, Gen 4 is done, I believe. Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, Gen 5 even. Gen 5 is not finished. Because we have the main event. Tepig is gonna go in tier X. At the very top. Now you have a you have a strong relationship with your first Pokemon, and Tepig was mine. Alright. He was he was the first boy I got in the ball, and ever since I always choose him. Even if I'm replaying, even when I tried to replay to get the other starters, I ended up choosing Tepic again and had to restart because I only realized once I got to like the end of Route 2, I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> the whole reason I'm doing this is to get Oshawa and Snivy. <laughs> but Tepic is just, he, he's, a, he's my little piggy boy. Uh, I understand this is not going to be definitely nowhere near the top for anyone else. And I hope you can respect that. Um, Chikorita belongs in the bottom tier and Tepic belongs in the top. Fight me, okay? Fight me. Next up, okay? That is Gen 5 done. We're on to Gen 6. Froakie, bang. Straight away. Let's get this. Oh, so close, so close. Bottom tier. Hate. I hate this dog. He. I just hate every single one of them. When I seen it, is it even a dog? I, when I seen it, I was like, you know what? You're all right. I don't mind the look of it. It, it can do better. But now, oh, ugh, makes me feel sick. Mudkip almost doesn't deserve to be. You know what? Mudkip doesn't deserve to be down here. You deserve to be down here. The fire types, I, I, I'm quite split on the fire types. I expected, you know, more more fire types. Grass isn't isn't doing very well, but that's about to change soon. Because I'm going to have, oh, I did say that I would try and limit myself to three S's. But there is one other S type, and I feel like, we need at least one from each type up here. Oh, do I have to? Do I have to move Chimchar down? Oh, it's rough. It's rough. But maybe we might have to move. We might have to move Chimchar down because Tepig's staying where he is. All right, uh, we're doing. We're doing Gen Six. Litten. Litten is not Gen Six. What am I doing? Chespin. Um, I actually prefer, um, whatever this thing's name is, Fennekin. To Chespin. Uh, so, you know, that's saying something. Very bottom of C. Very bottom of D. Part of me actually does... You know what? Let's just make D the Kalos tier. The Kalos tier that isn't Froakie. We can now share generations. Chimchar's coming down. We're only having three in S. Chimchar is absolutely beautiful. If it wasn't for Tepic, he'd be in the S tier. But we can only have one of each type in the S tier. That's a new rule I've imposed right now. One of each type for this kind of lists we're doing all three of the starters if you didn't if you couldn't tell already we're going to go through the middle stages and final evolutions after so is that us finished with gen six yeah we've only got we've only got six left so um here we have these boys all right poplio in there uh just to, just quickly poplio might actually be one of the worst pokemon i've ever seen a lot of people like him they think he's cute. I, I hate him. <laughs> he, he almost deserves a Poplio tier. Because like Chikorita, I have no intention of ever using it. 
I don't even like to look at him. In fact, <laughs> I might just take him off the list entirely. He doesn't even really... <sighs> right, I'm not going to be that. Because every starter has like its own kind of fan base. Litten, while it does look pretty poor, I would say that I do... <laughs> I do, I do like it more than some of the other Pokemon. I'm starting to rethink Squirtle's positioning a little bit. I'm thinking that Squirtle might actually have to jump a whole tier. You know what? Oh, not, not up there. Squirtle is going to jump from the top of C to the top of B behind Snivy. Because I do like him more than Anteater Boy. And then we're going to move Litten in front of Torchic. Because Torchic is terrible. And I don't like Tor Torchic. And we're getting our third S tier with the Rowlet. A lot of people don't like Rowlet. I love Rowlet. Look at him. Look at that little round boy. You can't you can't go wrong. With Gen 7, they did have two misses being Litten and Popular. But you can't you can't deny. This little round boy. This, this absolute unit deserves to be at the S tier. So this is my S tier choices. So none of these are gonna make it in. Uh, but I do think that they have places on here. Score Bunny. Oh, so bold to put him above Charmander. Mm, I would have said if if Score Bunny had become Fire Electric, I might have actually enjoyed the evolution line a little bit more. But I, I can't put Score Bunny above Turtwig. Maybe we move Turtwig up. I like that. I like this arrangement. Grookey Gang, where you at? Gen 8 for me was, they're all they're all just samey. Sobble's the only one I haven't used, so I would say he's probably better than Trico, in my opinion. And uh, there's there's my cursed list. I didn't practice this before. This is just how I feel <laughs> right now. I knew that Turtig, I knew the S tiers before I did anything. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't really plan on the three type rule, but I suppose we'll carry it forward. And uh, now <laughs> I suppose you can yell at me. But but I suppose I suppose we're moving on to the next list. <laughs> on to the mid stages. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. It has been a hard video to make. It <laughs> I say hard, I've literally just placed Pokemon into a tier list. Uh, I know that some of you probably won't respect my decisions, but you know. That's how it is. I am planning on doing the mid stages and the final evolutions. I did want to make this a full video with all of them, but I found it was running way too long. So I'll be uploading that soon, very soon. Uh, and I hope you have a nice day. I will see you guys later. Peace. <laughs>